Hi, my name's Lauren and I'm a consultant here at Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a closed lost reason report for opportunities. One quick note before we get started though, is we actually have an entire playlist dedicated to reports and dashboards on our YouTube channel. I highly recommend you check it out if you wanna see more tutorials like this one. So a closed lost reason report is a good report for your sales team to have so they can understand reasons why you're losing opportunities in general. It could be pricing, it could be competition, it could be any number of factors. So this report will help you understand kind of what's happening and where you should be adjusting. So first we're gonna start off in our setup. You can get there by clicking the gear icon and clicking setup because we actually have to do a couple things first. We have to go to the object manager and search for opportunities, fields and relationships, because the closed lost reason is not a standard field. So we have to create this one. So we're gonna hit new and we're gonna go with pick list, hit next, type in closed lost reason. And then I'm just gonna paste in some values so things like price, competition, timing, disqualified, non-responsive, whatever reasons you think that you might be losing deals and sales teams can also add reasons why the deal was dropped. Hit next. This page is just for visibility for that field, which profiles can see it. I'm gonna make it for all, have it visible on all opportunity layouts. That looks good. Actually, we don't need to hit save and new. We can just hit save. And then we have our closed lost reason. Now I'm gonna update some opportunities so we have some data for our report. Okay, now that I have some data and updated a few opportunities with some closed lost reasons, let's create our report. We're gonna create a new report and it's gonna be an opportunities report. First thing I like to do is edit my filters. So show all opportunities is great. We're going to put the close date to current fiscal year. Opportunity status is going to be closed. And then we're going to add a filter here for one. So if closed one equals false. And that should give us all of the closed lost opportunities. Back in the outline, we can clean up a bunch of these fields that we don't need. Like stage, we know what the stage is. But you know. This again is up to you on which fields you wanna see in your report. Okay, and now we're gonna group by closed lost reason. Now we can add a chart. So this bar chart is actually pretty good. When you have more than just one of each record, you'll be able to see and you know sort it by the most opportunities and the with the closed lost reason being you know price or competition. Another possibility is doing a donut chart where you can see the percentage. So what percentage of opportunities, you know, are losing because of price or competition. So it's kind of whatever you prefer here. And then we're going to change the name of report. Hit save and run. Again, it's going to default to saving into your private reports folder. I would select a public reports folder if you want other people to be able to access it or see it. Hit save. And there you go. Opportunities closed lost reason report. You can hover over to see your data, scroll below to see more details, but that's it. I hope you found that helpful. Remember to check out our playlist on our YouTube channel that's all about reports and dashboards where you can find more tutorials like this one. If you found this video helpful, please click like. If you would like more Salesforce tutorials, please click subscribe. Thanks for watching.